Hey guys, I want to show you what I believe is the most powerful Unix command. Do some searching. So we could just try to find online like a list of addresses and stuff, but instead I thought it'd be kind of cool to use a gem. Um, so I found Faker. I want to make a bunch of names. So you just grab it here. I've already installed it, but I'll show you. Just put it in. Should go pretty quick. There it is. Okay, I already have it installed. Might be a little slower for you, but there it is. Okay, so now just how to use it. Um, okay, so it's enumerable. This is the class. This should make a name. Okay, so here's how you test it out. Go to IRB, and then it was ah, faker name dot name. Oh, you know what? Ha ha. Whoops. When you use IRB, you need to require the gem. There it is, that's true. Up arrow will give you back these commands. This should work. Yes. Cool, different names. All right, perfect. Um, so now, I let's make a thousand of these. I'm not gonna do it this way. Okay, um, all right. So this is the cool thing about Ruby. I love this. Just 1,000 times do. It's just like reading like English. I, I think it's pretty awesome. But, you know, I'm biased because I do like Ruby. Okay. Um, let's call it random. Oops, not random. Random. That's how you spell it, right? Random names dot text. Yeah. Is that right? That should be beginning. Oh, wait, wait. We don't want to write to the file. That will overwrite this thing. So we should append it, which means it'll just, it'll just keep adding it on, basically. I think that's right. Um, so, wait, oops, file, and then it's, is that a dot? No. Yes. I think it's All right, file puts, what was that command? Oh, faker. Name should just be that. I don't think I need quotes, because it's not a, yeah, I don't think I need quotes. Okay, that should work. File dot, uh, file dot close. And then, let's see if this works. Uh-oh. doesn't. Let's see. It didn't look right. Crap. All right, well. What are we doing? Oh. Missing my other quote. All right. Hold on. Let me do it. Go. Let's go back. It's cool. You can just go back and fix your mistakes like this. Oh, you know what? No, I can't. This session has a quote. So here, kill the session. And then I'll just go back and do it. Okay. There we go. Okay, sorry. This is how it goes though, right? I mean, so you can't, this is how you test out your code all day though. This is what you do. You just put it in here, and in theory, this should work. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> well, you gotta re-require your gym when you reopen it up. Okay, there it is true. Oh, let's go back. Let's go back through and reload all this stuff. All right, that should be right. Uh, where's the puts? There we are. That should put it in. Close it, and in. Come on, work. Come on. All right, good. See that? 1,000? That should have worked. Let's see. Okay, now, there it is. Hopefully, this has it. So, you just do a more on the file, which will spit it out. Yeah, there's a whole bunch in there. So, we made some data, right? That was pretty awesome. So, now, I'm going to show you how to actually do the grepping, okay? There's three things for grepping. Uh, like, well, basically, when you grep something, you need to have the file close this up. Um, you, you give the command, the program grep that you want to call, and then whatever you're searching for, a string. But you don't have to have quotes. Okay, so if we want to do S, capital S, um, and then you just need the name of the file, this should look through and find, put everything out that has a capital S. So a lot, right? So that's, think of grepping like filters. Okay, so there we go. That's not you know, that's not that helpful. So here, watch what you do. Put a pipe, that's what it's called. And now this is like another layer. You filter it and say, hey, 
I want to grep, but let's look for if anyone has a name Brown with the S. Let's see, maybe, maybe not. Let's just do, yeah, let's do Brown. So let's go look through all this data first. So I say grab all that, and then whatever here, grab all this. So let's just do Brown. Nobody. Okay, let's just do um, BR. Okay, so here's the S. Here's the BR. So you can see we got this one thing. So, but you could literally keep doing this and graphing further and further. So what's cool is right now we're just spitting it out to the screen each time, right? But here's the cool thing with grep. You find the thing by playing around like this. You, it's like IRB. Okay, good. I found the thing I want. Now here's what you do. You can, they call it piping or something, but like you just put this greater than sign. You can do it like that. We can do it like that. This is the equivalent of writing to a file in Ruby with a W. With two of these, it's appending, so it won't overwrite anything. Right now with nothing, this is how you test. Just don't put anything on the end. But here, if I want to write to the file, um, or you can append it with two, but I'll do one. We just make a file called jo Josh's test grep. Now hopefully this works. So we should get just this name in here, nothing else, right? There we go, now clear it out. So there's our new Josh's test. Now we more the file, which means to spit it out into memory here. Boom, there we go. You can see with grep, you can really start searching around and, and testing without any risk. Um, it's great. I, I love grep. I think it helps so much finding things. And it's really not that hard to think about it. It's just the name of what you're looking for and the file. And then when you want to, once you get what you're looking for, a big collection of data, then go, okay, let's grep again. Let's look some more and then finally at the end, throw it to a file and you're done. So hopefully you